All right, 0 0.50, folks. I think I can do that a little bit faster. You guys make me nervous when you're watching me on camera, so uh, I'll try to do better when we actually do this for a time. All right, 0.50 to, to hear that beep, get that gun up on target. And the way that we do that is by making sure that we bring the gun to us, we don't go to the gun. Hey, folks, I'm Kyle Lamb with Viking Tactics, and thanks for joining us today for a tactical tip. All right, so bringing the gun to us, what does that mean? That means that I get my body in my fighting stance that I want to be in, and then I simply bring my gun up, and when my LCO stops right here, my sights are properly aligned on the target, I'm ready to shoot. This takes some practice, this takes some muscle memory, it definitely takes a uh, little bit of dry fire as well, which I do almost every day still. I'm using the Leupold LCO today. The Leupold LCO has a huge battlefield of view. And what I mean by that battlefield of view is it's got a very thin rim around it. It's very durable but it allows you to see a lot of the target and a lot of the surrounding area, have good peripheral vision when you're looking through that site. It also has a very intense dot, and I can dial it down. They, uh, they don't want to admit it, but I think it's almost a minute of angle dot. It's a little bit bigger, that, bigger than that according to their advertising, but it's a super intense dot, and if I dial it down, I can get it to be a very, very round and precise aiming point for long-range targets. Try shooting a uh, target with a red dot at three and 400 yards without a magnifier, this is probably the only one out there that I've seen that you can do it with. Okay, that's the LCO from Leupold. Now, that being said, remember, we want to get, our, get in our position so when we stop that gun, our sights are on target. We don't want to stand straight up, and when the buzzer goes off or you have a target indicator, we bring the gun up and then we drop behind the weapon. Okay, if we do that, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to get that speed that we need to put that first round on target. Okay, let me demonstrate this. Try to get a couple fast ones here for you, and then I'm gonna do it the wrong way so you understand that as well. Okay, this is correct. Okay, that buzzer went off fast. That was a .47, so I wasn't quite ready, but I still got it under a half a second. Now I'm gonna do that again. Stand by. Okay, and I'm shooting for the small, that's a .45. I'm shooting for the small box on the VTAC target there. Okay, now I'm gonna do it where uh, hopefully you'll have to slow this down to see exactly what's happening, but I'm going to start in my upright position, not having my body in the right shooting position. When the buzzer goes off, I'm going to have to bring the gun up and then mount my body to the weapon versus just having it stop and fire. should look something like this. Okay, 0.72. Okay, 0.76. It's a little bit slower. Maybe 0.25 of a second doesn't mean much to you, but if you're in a gunfight, a quarter of a second is an eternity, okay? We can fire a couple rounds in that amount of time, so it definitely makes a difference. Okay, once again, folks, I'm Kyle Lamb, Viking Tactics. Check us out on YouTube here. Please subscribe. Also go to our Facebook page, and better yet, check us out on vikingtactics.com. We got a lot of cool kit. You can check out Leupold as well. They got a lot of awesome stuff. Oh, by the way, made in the USA, okay? Awesome gear. Let's do it again. We'll see you on the range.